So I recently came across this product, Solid Time. It's in open beta right now and it looks pretty cool. As someone who works for themselves, time tracking's a thing. I want to know, you know, how productive am I being with each client on each project and all of that usual stuff. And I noticed that they had some docs, which was pretty cool. But then I got to the docs and I was super disappointed. So I thought, I know, let's rebuild them because why not? So to do this, I'm going to use a cool product called Zudoku, which is by the team over at Zuplo. And to get started, all we need is to run this little npm create script. So it is called solid time, solid time docs. Now that's going to go ahead and do its thing. And then we're going to jump in, copy the markdown from their repo and see if it looks any better, see if it's any easier to use. User guide and self-hosting. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we're going to open this up in VS Code and we are going to open up solid time docs. Now what to do is open up our terminal and run npm run dev. Now this is going to run their little documentation site up on localhost 3000. So if I go localhost 3000, you'll see I've got a very basic docs site ready to go. So let's focus in on the code because that's the important part, right? And a lot of what we're going to do is work with the configuration itself. So here's a logo. It's got a width, it's got an alt, and we're going to call this um, solid time. I think it's called solid time like that. I'm not 100% sure. Avert your eyes for light mode. There we go. That is working. Now, Sudoku is currently in beta. That's not a huge problem. So what I want to do is come over to their docs and they start on an introduction. And that is all they've got on their introduction. So let's go ahead to pages and introduction. We're going to rename this to introduction. And we're just going to replace that. So, so if we come back to our docs over here, it's relatively simple. Now we've got this API reference here and other useful links and then the API reference over here. So what we can actually do is if we come over to solid here, we've got a user guide and self-hosting. So you can see it's split into two main areas. So we've got this part is getting started and this is the API reference. We could probably fit all of this under one section. So what we're going to do is come to our config over here, documentation. We're going to call this user guide. And this second one over here, we are going to call self-hosting. So then if we go, come back to our site over here, you'll see we've got that split nicely. So if we come into user guide first, we've got the intro, super basic. Then we'll go for roles next. So we can go grab the content from roles, look at the code. We can just grab all of this, come over to here. This example we can delete. And we can have roles.mdx title roles, drop that in. Then back over here inside our user guide, we've got all of that. We can just delete that. We don't want that. Roles. Now, I'm pretty sure that's called intro, so we want to call that intro. 
and that means we need to rename this one to info as well. Let's just make sure that we don't have introduction anywhere. Let's go back to localhost. Two thousand. We'll have to restart that because it remembers some stuff for redirects. And there we go. We've got our redirect going on. Perfect. So we've got our user guide here. Welcome to the user guide. Next is roles. We've got roles. Perfect. So once we've done roles, we're going to have billable rates. So come over to billable rates and grab this content as well. Come back here, so pages, billable rates.mdx. Title is billable rates. Super straightforward, right? So underneath this here, we can have billable rates. So back on this here, we've got billable rates under the user guide. So let's go and add some self-hosting stuff. So under self-hosting, we are gonna have an intro code and what we want to do we're just going to copy all of that and what we'll do is let's go and make sure we're matching the URLs so in the pages we're going to have user guide and self-hosting so new folder self-hosting like that which means down here, we're going to want to go to user guide slash info, user guide, make sure we're linking things correctly, little rates, self-hosting, items in here, we can have self hosting info like so and we're going to go info.mdx title production and there we go that means this this and this all gets moved into here like that so let's just do that and start it all That's going to take us straight through here. That's all our self-hosting here. And this is all of our user guides. Fantastic, we're getting somewhere. So if we come over to API over here, we can download that open API document. I'm going to download it as YAML. I'm going to show that in the finder. And I am going to pop this over here, open it, copy it under APIs. I'm just going to replace all of that so that in my configuration down here, that is there. So we can say solid time API reference. Like so, come back over to here. And there we go. We have got the API all set up, all ready to go. And we can go back to our documentation, look at our roles, billable rates, come down to self-hosting and everything is working perfectly. So what we really want to do with this is make sure, okay, how easy is this to get live? We can test it locally by running npm run build, which will build our documentation website for us. And that is all done. So we can say git status, we're gonna git add everything, we're gonna commit it all, under starting docs then we're going to go to github.new 
and we're going to create a repository called solid time docs. Push all of this up to GitHub really quickly. And then we're just going to go deploy this over on Sabala for free really quickly because it's going to take maybe 20 seconds to deploy. So now if I come over to static sites, you can see I've got my static site hosted up there, which is an Aspro website. I can add a new one. I'm just gonna refresh my GitHub repository information. Solid time docs, we're gonna automatically deploy and enable pull request previews. Detecting everything for us. So let's create the site. This takes roughly around 20 to 30 seconds. So while that is deploying to the edge using Google Cloud Platform and Cloudflare, I can go ahead and go check out some more docs. Maybe we will add um, container mode to the docs as well. So we can just grab all of that. And we can come to self-hosting and do container mode.mdx. Got a title for container mode. Drop that in. And now, if we come back over here, you'll see that is still deploying currently. But what I want to do is, let's make sure we have a proper look and say, can we actually customize this so it's actually nice? So, copy that image address to start with. So in dark mode, we're going to use this and then light mode will probably we'll do the same one and see how it works. Solid time, solid time, perfect, perfect. Color wise, they're quite a, a dark looking site, so we'll go pick a color from the screen like that. Standard black. And we've deployed. Let's go visit the site. And my docs are redirecting. Takes a second to load, not a problem. What we'll do on this page, this is complaining. So Sudoku is currently in beta, not a big deal, right? colors and theme. Let's grab all of the theme information and we can tweak. So come down to our config. Right at the bottom, we're going to swap that in. So we're going to ignore the logo for now. Navigation, all good, all good. Card stuff, light mode, dark mode. I'd say they're sensible colors to start with, right? So let's go ahead and say git add all of this. We commit it for new page and theme config. Push all that up, which means that when we come over to Kinsta or Savala, should I say? When we come over to Savala, you see it is deploying. The last one took 46 seconds. Let's see how long this one takes. Let's close some of these pages down that we don't need. Twenty odd seconds so far. Let's come back to Zadoku documentation and integrations. Configuration, search. So you've got two different providers for search, PageKeep and uh, PageFind and InKeep. PageFind is this lightweight static site 
and InKeep is more of an integration where you need to go to your account. So let's stick with page find. And what we're going to do is we're going to configure our site to have search. So it's deployed in less than a minute. While that's loading, I'm going to come over to here and we're going to say, okay, let's just ignore all of that. And we're going to say, that's, um, search, is it provider? Let's come back to here and we're going to say type page finds. And then underneath that, max results is 10. Or max sub results is 10. And then obviously you can do some optional ranking, so term frequency and all of that sort of magic. There we go. That's got some search going. And what I'll do, I'll, do, I'll look at this locally. So um, we're going to run the build. Let's just open up localhost 3000. Because once that's built, I can run npm run preview command k to search. And then we can say. In container mode, I can see I've got all of this. Fantastic, right? Nice and simple. Docs deployed. Away we go. What more could we ask for, right? So that's how you can go from you know, some old Docusaurus, pretty janky looking docs to Something a lot cleaner, neater, API browser built in, ready to go, testable if configured correctly. And that's it. So the next time you need to deploy a static website or deploy your documentation anywhere, why not give Savala a go at savala.com and get yourself $50 of free credits.